the strength, and from the mistakes of others. Is that right? Genesis chapter 21, verse 14 says, And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water, and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder, and the child, and sent her away, and she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Bathsheba, and wandered in the wilderness or desert of Bathsheba. And the water was spent. All the water, the bottle of water she took with her, mm -hmm. and her son was all finished up. Mm -hmm. And the water was spent in the bottle. And, the, and she cast the child under one of the, the shrubs. Mm -hmm. And she went and sat her down over the gate him a good way off. As it were a bow shot. For she said, let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over again against him and lifted up her voice and wept. Hagar was a maid to Abraham. Hagar is the one that Abraham had a first child with. And Sarah, who was his wife, decided to put Hagar out of the house. Because God had given her her promised child, Isaac. Yes. So Abraham agreed with his wife and they put Hagar out with his son, the boy, Ishmael. And he sent them away with a bottle of water and a few pieces of bread. Just a bottle of water. Send her away. Put her out. Kick her out of the house. We are not going to go into detail of the reason why I want to stay with the subject matter. So you, you can check the story out for yourself. Here this woman, a single mother, and her son were put out of the place they know all their lives out of the home that the child was born, into a desert. Yeah. And the Bible says, as we read, we, we go further down, I said, Johnny, the water they had, they drank all in the desert. No, no more water, no more food. And the child began to dehydrate. The child began to dehydrate in the hot desert sun. And she, was, she, she, didn't, she didn't know, the mother did not know her way around. The Bible says she was wandering. She got lost in the desert. She was lost in the desert. A single mother in the heat of the desert, heat of the wilderness. Come on now. Nobody around. No water around. No filling station around. Hello. I lived there. There was a paved road. You would say she was staying at it. At the, at the street or on the road to, to, to wave down the car, to, but there was no road paved in those days. <laughs> Just imagine seeing yourself in the heat of the sun. You complain about not having air conditioning. <laughs> you, have a, you have a house that can be shaped, right? But that woman had nothing. Single mother. Oof, water dried up, food dried up. Her child is dying in her hand, and she had no recourse, nothing to do, and she already lost in the midst of the desert. So she ended up putting the child under a little tree and said, that, well, I don't want for the child to die in my hand. So she left, she separated her child, herself from the child for a you know, few, few feet away from the child, and we, it's time to we. Because she had, she had gone, she had come to her limits. Have you ever been in a situation where you come to your limits? Yes, yes, yes. Hello? 
Am I, am I talking to somebody? Yes. Have you ever been in a situation where you say this is my limit? Yes. It had nothing to do? Yes. It had nowhere to turn? Mm -hmm. This is where God can step in. Amen. Amen. Okay. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise. This is where God can step in. She reached to her limit. She had nothing. Ah. Ah. She had nothing. She reached to her limit. So, she threw up a towel. Well, I have nothing to do with the child that. Oh, she could. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Praise she lost. She lost hope. She lost hope. There's a sin that man extremity is what? It's God's opportunity. She lost hope. Mm. She lost hope. Her problem is she did not know God. She was living in the, in the house of a man of God. Her service was to the man, not to the God. So she had no relationship with God. So she lost hope. Say, neighbor, neighbor. what is your relationship with God? You know, you, you, as we go further down, you're going you're gonna to see what I'm talking about. She was living with an anointed man of God. But her services were to the man, not to God. Her services were to the man and his wife, not to God. Her relationship had no relationship with God. So when she got into the situation, she lost hope. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, Lord I, Lord, I thank you. And the water was spent in the battle, and she cast the child on one of the, the straw. And she went and sat her down over against him in a good way of, as it were a, a, a bull shot. For she said, let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept. She began to cry because she had no recourse. No other one, no one to help her. The 17 verses, and God heard, listen to this, and God heard the voice of the boy. If you read it in other translation, it will say that the boy. And God heard the voice of the lad. Is that right? And God heard the voice of the lad. And the angels of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What ail thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God had heard the voice of the lad where he is. God had heard the voice of the child where he is. Listen now, I want you to get, get this straight. Hear the angel. The, this woman was crying. She was crying. And she let the child out there by her side and said to die. And the child was also crying for help. The child was also crying for help. But the angel speaking to her said, Hagar, what are you crying for? Do not be afraid. Go have her the voice of the child, not her voice. I want to take my time to teach this way. Did you see? Hello? The angel said, Hagar, go have her the voice of the boy, but not her voice. You know what? Why the angel listened to the voice of the child? Because the child was an anointed seed. It is good to be connected with God. So the angel did not come to rescue her because of a cry. The angel came to rescue them because of the cry of the boy. Because the boy, as you read, Father, are you going to find the boy was an anointed seed? The seed of Abraham. Is that right? Say, neighbor, our relationship with God. When you have a relationship with God, there is no struggle that he can deliver you from. Amen. 
There's no trouble that he can deliver you from. Hallelujah. Are you flowing with me thus far? Amen. Can I take you a little bit deeper? Somebody said, praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. And God heard the voice of the of the lead. And the angels of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What hail thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God had heard the voice of the lead where he is. Arise, lift up the lead, and hold him in thy hand. For I will make him a great nation. God had heard the voice of the child. Sometimes, you see, let me pull it this way. Sometimes you don't know what is keeping you afloat. Somebody may be praying for you Amen. that has connection with God, right. although you may not have that connection. Amen. Uh, am I talking to somebody? Right. Right. Here, the mother who God is the God of the motherless, He is the God of the widow, yes. He is the God of the outcast. Yes. But saying Hagar did not have a personal relationship with God. God was listening to the cry of the baby because he was an anointed of God. Yes. Yes. Is that right? There are, many, there are a lot of folks that are surviving today. There are a lot of folks that are surviving today in marriage and in, in relationship. The spouse, the wife may not be connected with God. Maybe the husband is the one that connected to God. Or the husband may not be connected with God. The husband may not have a relationship with God. You better thank God for a praying wife. Amen. Thank God for a praying mother. Amen. Thank God for a praying brother. Amen. There are a lot of brothers that are flowing today. My goodness. And like in the day of Jeremiah, in the day of Jeremiah, God was calling the whole nation to pray. But the men were doing their own stuff. So God told Jeremiah, go and get a kind of women. It is the women that cause the country to flourish. It is the women that the prayers of the women that cause God to spare the country. Yes. There are a lot of brothers. The fact of the matter, there are a lot of brothers, even nowadays, that are living because of the prayer of their wives. Amen. Because of the prayer of a mother. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Because of the prayer of their mother of the mother. Say, 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 you, you understand what we're saying here? There's a song. That's, that we often say, my mother prayed for me. Hallelujah. Is that right? She took a time and prayed for me. My father prayed for me. He took a time and prayed for me. Man, you better thank God for God and women in your life. You better thank God for God and brothers in your life. You better thank God for God and mothers and God and father. You are still alive today because somebody been praying for you. I'm not talking to somebody here. Is that right? There's a saying that you don't know how important the well is until it goes dry. You don't know how important how important are the people in your life till you till you lost them, till you miss them, or till they walk away from you. Is that right? Because if you don't, if you are not careful, there is a saying that the straw, the straw that broke by the camelback. There's a store can get break them on her. Have you heard that before? If you don't wake up, one day that, that store will come. It can be a just be a simple thing Amen. that because that person to walk out of your life. Amen. God. The person that should have been there for your help. The person that should have been there for your deliverer. Mm -hmm. The person that should have been there to push you. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. The person that should have been there to motivate you. Yeah. Because you don't want to listen to God can pull that out of your life. Oh yeah, God can. He can Amen. pull the out of your life. So God said, don't give your, 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 your pearl, don't pull your pearl before the swamp. Mm -hmm. If the young man or the young woman continue to pre present himself to God as a swamp, don't want to listen to the call from God coming through his love one, mm -hmm. coming through people that cares about him. Amen. God can pull them out. Is that right? Say neighbor, I hope this is the wake up call. I hope this is the wake up call. Somebody shall say praise. Say neighbor, I hope this is a wake up call. 
Here God, God, the angels of the Lord did not come to rescue them because of Hagar. Yeah. But because of the child. The child. Because the child had connection with God. Yeah. Is that right? The child had connection with God. Sometimes you, you better take time out to say, Lord, I thank you for sending me somebody that has connection with you. I thank you for sending me somebody. Oh, glory to God. I can talk to you on my behalf. I can pray to you on my behalf. Thank you, Jesus. Have you been there before? Oh, yes, Jesus. Hey, yeah. It's sitting there. I, I, I will take a little bit deeper today. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In 18 voice, say, Arise, lift up the leg, and hold him in your hand. Hand. Yes. For I will make him what a great nation. Yes, and God opened her eyes. Amen. And she saw the well of water. Yes. And she went and filled the bottle up with water. Yes, Lord. And gave the lady a drink. <laughs> Somebody shout say hallelujah. hallelujah. Because of the prayer. Sister Kapu said that I'm busy right now. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Because of the lay. Yes, the revelations are coming to you. Yes, you. I want to give you the revelation. Yes, if you are wise, you're going to get it. Yes. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, thank you. Here, God has, God has called on from heaven and talking to Hagar. Amen. Hagar, I'm not doing this thing for you. I'm doing it on behalf of my anointed child. I'm doing it on behalf of my anointed servant. He may be a boy, but he's anointed. He may be a woman, so she's anointed. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. He, he, he may not be the one you like, but he is anointed. Uh, is that right? Uh, somebody say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for sending me somebody that is anointed by you. Thank you. Thank you. Say, so, Hagar, I'm doing something because of my anointed child. And God opened her eyes. In her natural eyes, she couldn't see the pool of water right by her. But the well, the, the well was there all the time. But she couldn't see it. The help was there all the time. But she couldn't see it. The deliverance substance was there all the time. But she couldn't see it because she was a, a, a woman of the flesh. A flesh came between her and the spiritual blessing. Yeah. Oh, a craving came between her and the spiritual yeah. uh, between her and the spiritual atmosphere. Yeah. The, the deliverance substance was there all the time. Yeah. Right there in the desert. Yeah. But she couldn't see it because she was in the natural. Yeah. The Bible said that the angel opened her eyes. In the spiritual she was able to see to see the well. Yeah. The word of water, the word of life was right there. Some of the shouts say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you can see how wise she was, where she where, where her wisdom came from. She did not reject the word that came from the angel. The problem with our people, they reject wisdom that comes from the wife. They reject wisdom that comes from the brother. They reject wisdom that comes from a the word I speak unto you are they are spirit and they are life. The angel gave her her word of deliverance. Thank God she was able to hear the word. So neighbor, you better hear what your wife is telling you. You better hear what your brother is telling you. What our husband is telling you. You know he is a praying brother. You know she is a praying sister. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Somebody of glory to God. Sometimes, sometimes the instrument that God used to deliver you right there by yourself. Yes, 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 yes. yes. There's a lot of things to somebody. Yes. The word, the instrument that God used to help you is right there, but you want to look to 
see these things. You want to look at your your jaw also. And God said, you're delivered, you're delivered it right there by your side. If you can just listen to what he is saying. If you can just listen to what she is saying. Yes, yes, Lord. Is that all right? T.D. Jim may be anointed, but this child is also anointed. T.D. Jim may be anointed, but this child, this dying child is also anointed. And I'm resting here right before you. I'm resting the man of God right in your house. I'm resting the woman of God right in your midst. Listen to what God is saying to you. Right there in your own bedroom. Yes, 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 yes. That's the Lord talking to somebody. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Jacob was able to hear yes. what the angel was saying to her. Yes. She did not give up, give the angel that ear. That's the problem with today, brothers and sisters. The people that cry for you. You don't mm -hmm. want to listen to that. All right, all right. Hallelujah. Have you been there? The people that struggling to mm -hmm. see you, they want you to see good things, but you don't want to listen to them. Mm -hmm. But you get your so-called buddies mm -hmm. Say it. that destroy you. Mm -hmm. They only around you because you maybe get a piece of money. Mm -hmm. They only around you because the need of you for them to fulfill their agenda. Right, right. But here, your loved one, oh, yes. it could be your wife or your brother, yes, has no pedigree. Yes. They just want you to deliver. Yes, yes. They just want you to be set free. Yes. If you love talking to somebody here, yes. can I take you a little bit deeper? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They, want to, they want to see you deliver, but, yes. but hey, you were wise to listen to the angels. She did not give a dead ear to the angel. Because she had come to the, she had already threw in the towel. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, yeah, hear your instruction arise. Lift up the leg and hold him in your hand. For I will make him what a great nation. She got her revelation and God opened it, her eyes. And she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad drink. Is that right? God opened her eyes to see things that a child couldn't see. Although he was. Listen, I mean, it, it goes both ways. Here, the child was weak. He was not yet in the position to see things as an adult to see. But although she was not connected, yes. although she was not connected with mm. whew, right. God, because of a care for the child, mm -hmm. God opened her heart to see something she was not privileged to. Although she was not connected with God, with anointing. But because of her care for the anointed child, God opened her eyes to see spiritual things. Because she was taking care of God's anointing. She was taking care of God's stuff. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. God brought her into that relationship. Is that right? Although she was not anointed seed, but she was taking care of the anointed seed. Is that right? So she was not Still, she was not entitled to because of her position to take care of the things of God. Amen. God gave her asset. Yes. Asset to things she was not. Come on. Yes. Uh, are we go? I, I declare and I decree over you that God will give you asset. Yes. Asset to privilege. Yes. Asset to blessing. Yes. That the devil thing you are not entitled to. Yes. Oh, glory yes. to God. Yes. Come on, shout. Say hallelujah. Yes. Say never I decree. Give us 
just the open door that only Abraham yes, was entitled to. Open door. Open door. Oh my goodness. Yes. Open door to her that Sarah, even the, the wife to Abraham, was not given. Hallelujah. Because she took care of God and not. Oh, you don't get it. Yeah. Who the Lord took him to here? Somebody shall say praise the Lord. Because she took care of God's anointed. She took care of God's business. Yeah. So it, 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 it was working in both ways. It was working in both ways because of a connection with God anointed. God started to give her asset to those that were not supposed to be open to her. Amen. Privileges that were not supposed to give them to her. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. hallelujah. She anointed, she, she went and took the water. Yes, the water. One of the things that you have to look at is, is this. Brothers or sisters, hallelujah. receive the, the well of living water from your wife. Amen. Who is a praying wife? Hallelujah. Who is a praying brother? Yes. Who is a praying sister? Yes. Receive the word of living water. Yes. The word I speak unto you, they are what? They are spirit and they are life. Yes. Glory to yes. God. God can speak the word of life through your loved one. Yes. God can speak the word of life through someone that cares about you. Yes. They are the one that have been going down on their knees, yes. talking to God on your behalf. Prostrate themselves to God on your behalf. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. My mother prayed for me. She took a turn and prayed for me. Thank God for answering my mother prayer. Somebody shout, say glory. Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Uh, uh, sometimes your word of life is right there. The instrument that God will use. But God can use to deliver you right there. Yes, uh, because they are not wearing blam blam. So you don't recognize it. Hello. Oh, yes. Let's go further than we got way to go. I could, I could. Oh, let's go further down. Somebody shall say hallelujah. And God opened her eyes. And she saw the way of the water. And she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lead drink. And God was with the lead. And he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became an ash. And God was with him. child. Listen to this. Here's another revelation, saints. And God was with the child. And he grew in the wilderness. The wilderness where his mother God loves, he became a conqueror of that wilderness. He was able to dwell in that wilderness. A oh, glory to God. Is that right? He grew, listen to this. I want you to get something. He grew in the desert. Someone turn to the, the, the NIV version and read out words. I want for somebody to get something from this. Amen. The NIV. He grew in the desert. The mother got lost in the desert. The same desert. What she got? She got lost with him. She got lost with him, with him in the desert, and she threw in the tower. She was willing to die in the desert, in the heat of the same desert. But he was able to conquer that desert. Read that verse for me. Mm -hmm. 20, 20, 21. Mm -hmm. God was with the boy. God was with the boy. Mm -hmm. As he grew up. As he grew up. He lived in the desert. He lived in the same desert where his mother lost him. Oh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And he became an archer. Somebody, hallelujah. hallelujah. I decree and I declare over you today. Yes. Every desert yes. that your mother failed to conquer. Hallelujah. Every desert that your father failed to conquer. You will come for the till labor. Every desert that your mother or your father failed to conquer. You will come for the till labor. Oh, come on, shake it with somebody. Shake it with somebody. Every desert. Will you shake it with somebody? Till labor. Can you shake it with somebody? Say 
Now he has conquered a death so that his mother could not conquer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where his mother failed, he succeeded. Yeah. Say, neighbor, wherever your mama failed, you going to succeed. This is all talking to somebody. Wherever your daddy failed, you got to succeed in that area. You got to defeat your father's enemies. You got to defeat your mother's enemies. The enemies that have been destroying your mama's stuff. The enemies that have been destroying your daddy's stuff. Say, neighbor, God has empowered you to conquer your daddy's enemies, to conquer your mama's enemies. Somebody shout, say, hallelujah. Uh, your mama and your daddy could not hunt them down. Now God is making you the hunter. Oh, uh, say, neighbor, God is making you the hunter. Is, is that right? Can I prophesy to somebody? Say, neighbor, God told me to tell you, from this day on, you will become the hunter. You are no more the hunter. You got to be the hunter. You got to go after your enemies, and you will defeat them. Then he said, shall I go? Shall I go after them? The Lord said, go after them. You will recover all. So neighbor, you shall recover all. Come on, shall I go somebody? You can conquer that planet. I know you can do it. Tell them I know you can do it. 
The problem is God is speaking life into us. But there are some folks that they refuse to let the past go. So the world to the past. Is the Lord speaking to somebody? God is speaking life into you, but you are still holding on to the past. God is still speaking life to you, but you are still thinking about what somebody did to you last last year or yesterday. And keeping it keeping you not not waking up to the new day that God trying to give you. And your past, your past will always stress you out. I'm not talking to somebody. Your past will stress you out. If you never, if you never heard from this from anybody here from the men of God today, your past will always stress you out. Because you keep on holding on to the old thing, nothing new will come in. It stress you out. And what the devil want? Paul said, one thing I know for sure, yeah. I'm leaving all the old things behind me, yeah. and I'm pressing on, looking to, to God, yeah. for the high calling of God through Christ Jesus. I'm leaving the old stuff behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? That's right? Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank now, you. let me take you to Gideon. <laughs> Gideon was such a man that, that did not know the kind of power God had invested in him. Mm-hmm. You did not know such a power that God had invested in him. Yeah. He was under the reminiscing about his failures in life. Mm-hmm. I am tired of house of Paul. That's one of the problems with him. That's what I have bigger problem. Reminiscing about his failure. That's what I'm picking up. Failure, thinking about failure. I was breaking him down. Hallelujah. And God is telling you, let me prophesy to the young man. God is telling me to tell you news of failure as a few. Yes, so, How to care for you. Yes. News. The negative word somebody threw at you while you are growing up. They didn't hear you. Hello, don't let somebody word you know, be used as a psychology against you to kill your innovation. Yes. To kill your in- in- innovation. So that was the same thing that will happen to Alien. Yeah, I'm taking you somewhere. Gideon, uh, uh, Judges 6. Do you have it here? 6 and 11 says, and read, and there came an angel of the Lord, here we go again, and sat on an oak which was in Ophrah, that pertained unto Josh. The Abyssarites, and his son Gideon, crushing wheat by the one press to hide it from the midnight. Somebody watch that child. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of vows, thou mighty warrior. Here, Gideon's not the worrying about what the Midianites were doing, their enemies. Yes. The Midianites will come when they have this time and steal their crops. Mm-hmm. The hard earns crops yes. on their farm. Well, mm-hmm. And they have no way to fight them because the Midianites outnumbers them. Mm-hmm. And they have no weapon to fight with. They, have, they, have, they didn't have the manpower to fight against the enemies. And the enemy was doing this thing over and over every year. Is that right? Yes, and they were looking for a deliverer. They were looking for somebody to stand up to fight for them. 
And he had an angel appearing unto Gideon. And look at the first word he greeted Gideon with. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. And it's 12 verses. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with you, Gideon, yeah. thou mighty man of valor. Yeah. Gideon, the Lord is with you. He's sitting in the, in, on the tree there roaring. But who will deliver you from your situation? But God is with you, son. Yeah. Say, never God is with you. Don't see my word about what the enemy is doing. No matter how how the odd number you, yeah. if God is with you, then you are in the majority. Say, neighbor, yeah. I love God is with you. You are in the majority. Yeah. 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 Come on, now. don't worry about the numbers of people. Yeah. 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 It's the Lord that's fine. Yeah. 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 And they're worried about what the enemies were doing. Look at, look at his response. But at Gideon respond to the angel. And the 13th verse and Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befalling us? If God is with us, why then all these things happening to us? Where and, and where be all his where and where be all his miracles? Which our father told us of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. He said, He's not under the tree, sad pity, petrify himself. Instead of he stand up to be the man God is calling him to be, he will petrify himself. He was reminiscing about the past, what had been happening. I said, the past, when you get, continue to hold on to the past, they will continue to drag you into the water. Yes. The past will always pull you back to where they want you to be. Yes. 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 Is the Lord talking to somebody? Yes. Somebody said, glory, glory to God. And he got, <laughs> he got hold. And the angel said unto him, man, don't you listen to what God is saying to you that he is with you. Yes. Mighty man of valor. Somebody shall say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are a mighty man. Say neighbor. Yes. You are a mighty man. Yes. And you are a mighty woman. Yes. God said you can conquer it. Yes. And I'm looking forward to you to conquer it. Yes. Say neighbor. Yes. God said you will conquer it. Yes. And I'm looking forward to you. Looking forward to it, the way to be the man. Yeah, yeah. God has already spoken over you. Yeah. You gotta walk in it. Yeah. You gotta walk in that faith. God said it. Yeah. Come on, now. God, come on, son. God said it. God said I will come on, stand, son. God said, Hey, dear. Hold this young man. Hold that dying young man by his hand. Lift him up. Oh, glory to God. Still, lift your husband, your husband hand up. Lift his hand up. Say, 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 sweetheart. Sweetheart. God said you can conquer it. Said, you and you will conquer it. Now I'm standing by you. Standing you, by will you. Conquer you will conquer it. Now God has spoken it over you. And just got to happen. You shall overcome your enemies. You shall overcome.
harvest bounty neighbor is now your doing. What a harvest fucking it. It leads with me to walk in it. Walk in your territory. He was a nation builder Amen. to God spoken that I would be a nation of help. And God's word will never return for us. See, neighbor, God's word will never return for us. You better hold on to it. Oh, 
Okay, rather as you are not yet to live as you are yet to be. And toward that end, the word as is a very powerful thing. When the angel, yes, isn't it? When the angel came to Gideon, he found a man living in fear. Gideon didn't know that he had the power to be a mighty vow. But he was living in fear. If you don't know your strength, uh, is, it law? Is, that, is that right? If you don't know your strength, your enemy can conquer you. Although you have the power to conquer them, say you don't know your strength, they can walk all over you. They can walk all over you. But yet, God sent people in your life, who is not in your life, and they are telling you each and every day, you can, you can, you can, you can conquer this. Is that right? You can overcome them. And you will overcome them. Somebody shall say, praise the Lord. Uh, somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Yes. As yet, you are not there yet. And toward that end, the word as is a very powerful thing. When the angel came to Gideon, he found a man living in fear. Yet, he said to him, the Lord stay with you, you mighty man of valor. A mighty man of valor was not who Gideon was. Yes. Why he was living in fear. Right. But yet God recognized that he was a mighty man of valor. Yeah. But who Gideon was to become, who Gideon was to become, he was living in fear, but when God pronounced the word of power over him, yeah. it changed something in him. Yes. I hope something has been changed in you today. Yes. It changed something in his mind. Yes. Yes. Changed something in his mind. Uh, somebody said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A mighty man of Vida was not who Gideon was, but who Gideon was to become. But the angel greeted him as if he was a mighty man of valor. Because God knows the end from the beginning. Your mama may not know that you are a mighty man of valor. Your friend may not know that you are a mighty warrior. Even your sibling may not know that you are a mighty warrior. But God knows what he invested in you. God knows what power lies in you. And he is working up your power today. Somebody shout it. Uh, I hope the sleeping giant is waking up. Thank you. Uh, I wonder what the, I wonder why Paul says, stand up. Say, neighbor, stand up. Stand up the giant in you. Stand up, stand up. Say, neighbor, stand up. Stand up the giant in you. There's a king in you that want to roll. There's a king in you that want to roll. To conquer the enemy, there's a king in you that want to rise. Mighty man of valor. Gideon who? Gideon now had to live by faith as if he was that mighty man of valor. You gotta live by faith as if you were that mighty man of valor. Because God has spoken over you. Is that right? And that is what he became. That's the, that, that the secret. That's the secret. When you can Grab onto what God has spoken in your life yes. as the word of, of living water. Yes, you grab onto it. It can change the presenter. Yes, it can change the trajectory. Yes. The trajectory that will lead you to, to death, it can lead you to life. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Trajectory that will lead you to fall, it can lead you to a working man. Yes. Somebody shouts the glory to God. Oh, God. And by faith, as if he was that mighty man of God. And that what he became. That the secret. Do not be bound by what you are. Oh. Say, neighbor, do not be bound by what you are. 
No, that, 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 no, no. What you are right now is not you. Not be bound by what? But what you are. Say neighbor. The Lord don't want you to be bound by what you are right now. What you are experiencing right now. It's temporary. You gotta pass. You gotta go. Because you are a conqueror. Say neighbor, you are a conqueror. About what you are, or what you see right now, yeah, yeah. Uh, because maybe you did not experience the hand of God. Now you are beginning to feel the presence of God. Rather live as if you were that which you are to become. Live as which you are that which you are to become. Be as Gideon, the one whose life was changed when an angel greeted him. I hope the angel is greeting you today. Yes. Say, neighbor, I hope the angel of God is greeting you today. I hope the angel of God is stepping in your life today. I decree and I declare that today is your visitation. Oh, put your hands together. I decree and I declare that today is your visitation. Yeah. 
I say praise the Lord. Praise I will never give you a defeat by my enemy. Never. 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 I will do my whole work. Somebody say glory. glory. So I will do my whole work. I will never again be defeated by my past. This is all talking to somebody. I want to get a defeated. You got to stay in that mirror. Lord, thank you for this word. I'm holding to your word. And when God sees your efforts, when God sees your efforts, then you step in. to raise children. When a child is making an effort to walk, don't we go to that assistant? And I have gone on also. Along we depend on him and he see our effort, they start to invest. Remember now, remember the woman. Come on in. Remember now, Hagar. When the angel spoke to her, she didn't turn a deaf ear to the angels. Immediately, immediately she got her message. Immediately, God began to work with her. So go on to see your efforts. Today on, or today on, let's start seeing change. He can lead a horse to the water. He can't force them to drink. But when you are alone, you are waiting. God is willing to come through for you. We pray for the sick. Those that need prayers, stay alive. Then we'll take our offerings. Mother Johnson is coming. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Ah, those of you that need prayers, stay alive. We pray for you. We pray for you. Oh. So Lord, I thank you. I hope I hope you got your message. I hope you got your word from the Lord. <laughs>